Hello everyone. As promised, here is a design for the composite photography robot. It took some 10 hours to design, build and program and consists of about 1100 bricks, a combination of NXT Mindstorms and standard LEGO Technic parts. The rig consists of four basic components and let's start with a cradle for the camera. This one has been specifically built for my Fujifilm S100 but I'm sure it could be relatively easily modified to accommodate any other camera you like. Just make sure to place those supporting beams so that they don't push any of the buttons or controls on the camera. The only control that the rig operates is the shutter button, simply pushed by this sort of teeter-totter, whose other side is pulled by a Mindstorms motor through two springs. I'd suggest using springs rather than fixed beams to have better and steadier control of the force applied on the shutter button. It can also be temporarily flipped upwards to allow the camera being easily mounted and dismounted. The cradle is attached to an axle underneath, which allows it to tilt. A motor and a rather simple gearbox raise or lower the push rod, that in turn regulates the vertical angle. This rig offers a range of about 60 degrees. In practice, it should suffice for typical panorama photography, but should you want more, it should probably be a simple matter of building somewhat higher support rods that will allow wider choice of angle, at least 130 degrees or so. These two components rest on a turntable that handles the horizontal angle. Instead of using the standard LEGO turntable brick, I have built one that handles the tangential forces somewhat better. The structure rests on a set of flat, studless pieces in the middle there is a very strong axle made of barrel bricks. On its bottom there is a gear simply rotated with a worm gear attached to the third motor which gives it both precision and sufficient force. It can spin in full 360 degrees and could easily more with longer cables. Basically those three main components should work well alone in most situations but in some slippy or unstable surfaces the sudden moment of inertia of the starting motors tend to slightly displace the rig each time and cause errors in positioning. So everything is built on a shock absorbing suspension frame which rests on 8 springs. The controller model is attached to the base for additional stability. The additional components that could theoretically be added to the rig are the contact sensors that prevent the cradle being tilted too much and the sensor for the camera zoom that could calculate the size of the camera viewport and thus automatically adjust the necessary increments. So that's it. Thanks and see you soon.